Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's Emily and we are here. I don't know if we're almost done. I don't know if we're um, close to done. I don't know where we are in the game, but I know I feel like I'm watching a Law and Order SVU marathon. Now, I sound a little nasally today, but do not be um, alarmed. I am completely fine. Anyway, um, all right, let's get into it. Um, recap. So what did we, oh, Anna's house got broken into. We're going to some fishing place because the police, oh no, the police came. Sam was scared and he ran away. Um, Dennis is dead. Nick was murdered. I still think it's someone we know. I thought it was Dennis, but he's dead. So maybe it wasn't Dennis. Dale? No, maybe his name wasn't Dale. The guy, the guy that stopped us outside the newspaper place. He is a, it could be the police officer. The guy, Walter. I don't like him. He's suspicious. That's suspicious. That's weird. Let's, uh, let's start this bad boy back up. If you're liking the series and want to see the end, like, let me know in the comments below. And then we're jumping right into Life is Strange. I love that game and I'm replaying it. So, like, let me know I'm doing a good job. Subscribe if you want more and comment. Nick's Fishing Shack, here we go. Comment what your favorite Nick's color is. Nick's Fishing Shack. A lot of memories why, here. Why is this so Good loud? memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. Mm. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? Imagine he found Nick. Imagine. Imagine he wasn't really dead. Oh, God. Plot twist. Uh, comment. Whose bike is that? Comment what your favorite Taylor Swift album is. Mmm. Joan rides this bike everywhere. Is she here? Which is impressive with how far away everything is out here. Now, why is she What's here? it doing here? Mmm, yes, that was, that was my question. Uh-oh, the door is open. Bug? Muley? How did you... Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. What do you... what? Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Girly. Don't try to stop me. What is she up to? I'm helping you. can't you. leave like this. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh, yeah? Watch me. Why not? Oh. That's what you did. Okay, relax. I'm She's a girl. She's serious adult. about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. Is there something wrong with your mom? No, I'm running away because things are so great. True. <laughs> Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down, think of the common good. She doesn't do anything, just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than oh mine. Oh my god, sir. The mother, You're though, not gonna be helpful. we should have a talk with her later. Look. I'm not a child anymore. Girl, you're like I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. What the hell do I click? Um, you can always count on me. You should open up to mom. Don't make the mistake I made. I'm gonna click don't make the mistake I made. Now look, I know it's probably the wrong answer. Because I've, 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 if you look back at the tape, at the footage, roll the footage, if you look back at it, I've notoriously picked the wrong choice, so. Leaving is going to hurt the people you care about the most. The way I left was selfish. You're not selfish. The Joan I knew couldn't even hurt a worm, let alone her own mother. I, it's not like I want to hurt her. She just works all the time, and then she's too out of it. 
and never listens to me. I think I'm done depending on others. Ah, oh, 2021, new year, new me. You go get it, Joan. My dad I could rely on. Well, your dad's dead, so. But he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial, she's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. Girl, no one cares. I listened. I'm in the middle of an investigation. I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. I know. People at the wake got upset at you over it. So then why are you no. running away? Why are you saying everyone? They did not like me bringing that up. But Nick was my friend. I want to know what happened to him. I care about that, but I also care about keeping you safe. I know you're doing your best. It's just this town, you know? It just feels like it grinds you down. I know. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think. Girl, not here. Why are you so guilty? Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? Pick up a hobby. In 10 years? I don't know. Give it time. School should help you figure out what you're good at. Let me cut you right there, Muley. Oh, God, that was a bad answer. Like you did this morning. You're not here for me. I don't even know if you know why you're here. I was here for your dad. Now I'm here for you. You're just telling me what I want to hear. Or what you think I want to hear. Oh, no. Oh, God. I just want the truth. For once, from someone. I'm wasting my time here with you. Fug. Don't touch me! Oh, God. I'm she's sick gonna... of you. I'm sick of this town. And so I'm going. And you can't stop me. God. Sam, we have to do something. She just wants honesty. She doesn't care about bullshit. I can relate to that. I'll tell her what we found out about Nick's death. You can't do that. You're the adult. She's the child. Do you want her to start looking for the people who killed her father by herself? Do the responsible thing. Make her stay. It's for her own good. I threatened to call Kathy. Tell her the truth about Nick. Oh, God. This kid wants honesty. I feel bad, she is my goddaughter. Now, if this were my goddaughter, I would, um, what would I do? I would. Oh, God. Um, tell the truth about Nick. Threat to call Kathy. I really want to tell her the truth. I really, really do. That's gonna be wrong. You're right, Buck. Your father didn't die in that crash. Someone killed him and covered it up. Made it look like an accident. Now, I don't know who did it yet or why. That's why I came here. That was maybe too much, Sam. She's a kid. But now she's gonna stay, though, so watch it. I was right. You were right. I need you to not tell anyone, though. I won't. I won't tell anyone. Not even And I mom. need you to stay at home. I will. I'm gonna go home right now. I'm such a winner. I'm so good at decision making. Thank you, Sam. I don't know if that was a good idea. Ah, uh, shut up. <sighs> Me neither. But hey, it worked. Exactly. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town, let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. Nick with hunter friends. Hello. We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. Hello. How much did you change, Nick? 
Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly Bug was there too. How old is Bug? Joan always liked Bugs. Yeah, I know. That's why her nickname is Bug. Nick named Nikki, but my name ain't Nicole. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. <sighs> Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Nothing here. Probably too high and hard to get at anyway. No keys. It's also not the best place if you wanted him to stay hidden. What's out here? Ah, the open seas. Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. That pharmacist is still sketchy. Oh. Fishing lure. Now, this record is fraudulent. Nick stretched his fish to beat mine. I still didn't find the key. Whoever killed Nick, I probably know him. Grew up with him. Even if you don't know them, they know you. It's someone we met. Nick, Dennis, gone. A stone cold killer walks the streets of Basswood. It's someone we met at the freaking bar. Things like this can really make you feel isolated. Make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. My guy walked away. Does he have a name? Who knows? All right, that's enough. I need to go find the key to that locker. It's some. It has to be someone we met at the freaking at the freaking thingamabob. Wait. Now I personally. Oh, we found the key. Now, I personally thought it was Dennis. However, Dennis is dead, so... I mean, it could possibly still be him, but who knows. What a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. Um, it could still possibly be Dennis, but I don't think it was. Um, it could be the, uh... Oh. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns. But never at home, and always locked the, up. Um... Oh, uh, A prescription for opioids with Kathy's name on it? That's not good. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. College? That, isn't that girl like 12? Um, anyway. It could be the police officer, who knows. It could be the, um, the other guy, Dale. I don't think that's his name. Read. I don't know what that is, but I'm not reading it. Um, calendar, take. Could be Dale, could be the newspaper boss, Walter. D wants to meet. It has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. Note. Take. Remember. 
caterpillar. Read. Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? Ugh, beats me. All right. I think I went through yeah. everything here. Me too. Inspect. Caterpillar. Yellow, red, green, blue. Caterpillar. Yellow, red. I don't know what that means. I already read these though, so why am I reading them again? Of course I'm drinking iced coffee because that's what I do. Mid-twenties, heavily tattooed. Maybe it's this Tyler kid? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here, because I already read them. If D met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. Okay. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. But his favorite rod is on the thing, so what's in the bag? Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? Inspect. Unlock. Wrong combination. Knowing Nick, maybe he left a hint lying around the shack. Isn't that it? Nick's note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. Oh, you're right. Nick's note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. Okay. Oh, wait. I took the, uh... Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. What is in that box? I'm not grabbing the drugs. Well, maybe I am. These are pretty heavy-duty painkillers. Very addictive. It couldn't have been the wife, Joan right? wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Oh, 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 okay. So, is this how I do it? Back. Red, green, blue, yellow. Red, green, blue, yellow. So it's gonna be red, green, blue, yellow. Doesn't work. 
There must be something I'm missing. Yeah, what what am I missing? <sighs> no, it's not the journal article. Something to do with that stupid caterpillar. If D met Nick on the day he died, he could be the last person who saw him alive. Caterpillar. Caterpillar, caterpillar. Pictures, pictures. Next note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. Next note mentioned a caterpillar. I think I just found it. I, I, green, red, yellow. Red. Red, green, red, green, blue, yellow, red, green, blue, yellow, hello, no, red, green, Blue, yellow, red, green, blue, red, right, down, left. Okay, unlock. Let's see what we have here. Mm, okay, I guessed. Because there was orange on that caterpillar. And yellow and red make orange. So. Oh, Opioids. Christ. From D? Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? Here we go. Nick was gathering at the cove. And that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Has to be Tyler. Read. I'm gonna be Tyler, man, a few words. Heavily tattooed, why he's here. His seventh relapse. Mid twenties. That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. Are you calling him poor? Heartbreaking, he was bad off, so bad. Keeps asking about Anna. Keeps himself. Ah, the Midwest. I don't think it's that guy. What about Richard Steinfeld? Hello? Reed. High strung, obviously disliked by the Cove, and asked not to be named in Anna's article. 
smarter than he looks or as dumb as he acts. Dickie sold drugs to Tyler. Dickie? That's Dickie sold drugs to Tyler. Keeps asking about Anna. That would give him a reason to, um... It doesn't match. Nothing suggests that this is D. Oh, okay. Dickie... Richard, aka Dickie, aka D. Oh God, I'm so Looks dumb. Like I found who I was looking for. Honestly. So that's what it was. Nick suspected hey, here's a drug this guy ring named Dickie. flourished here in Basswood we need after someone the mine closed. D. Okay, let me he pick Tyler. Dickie, probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand, more than a reporter should. Dickie set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dickie may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, The Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. But didn't he rob Anna's house? Oh, did I? Let's go. Anna's big into it. She she interviewed them. Who texts with one thumb? But, uh, homeboy, are you gonna close the door? Jesus. Alrighty, I will see you guys in the next episode when we go find Dickie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.